I've got two sets of data here, which are pre-test and post-test. They are both measuring the satisfaction someone has with my interface. So look at scale from one to seven, and you see that they're just doing whatever they're doing. Does satisfaction go up between test one and test two? So people came through to the experiment, um, they use website one, and then they use website two, which is the redesign. Does the satisfaction go up or does it go down? Let's find out with stats. So I can go on to here and say uh, non-parametric and two related samples. So non-parametric, legacy, two related samples. So now we've got this option here. We want to say pair one and pair two. So variable one is pretest and variable two is post-test. Now we're going to use the Wilcoxon signed rank. There's other things we could do, but we're going to stay with Wilcoxon. The exact, don't worry about that, leaves it as a symptotic. And options, we want things test by test, and I always like descriptives as well. So click continue, and there we go. So what have we got in here? We've got 39 people per group. That's great, because I think you need 37 people per group for a man winger test. So everything is good. We are working. Sorry, Mel Wilcox and signed rank, not man Whitley at all. Ah, oh, it's a long day. So here we are. Um, we can see the minimum is three, maximum is seven. So we've got a range, very similar for two. There is a slightly different mean in the pretest. So where does this feel? Well, we go to the significance, and significance is 0 0.02. That means that there is a significant difference, and that is really fantastic. We can now say that the satisfaction people feel websites goes down by 0.6. It's not a huge difference. And if we use the Z to calculate the effect size, I reckon it'll come out to the small um, effect size. But um, yeah, so we have a significant difference, but it's going down, not by a huge bunch, but it is.